I have a customer in the shop with what he thinks is an ornamental cannon that he wants $300 for. It's very small and it has some really intricate designs on it, but I think this might actually be a gun. I've asked Alex Kramer to come in and take a look at it to let me know if I'm right or not. It's small, that's for sure. Do you mind if I pick it up? Please do. So this is a matchlock pistol. So this is one of the earliest forms of firearms. Wow. It's Japan, you see that right there? Those are birds. And this, that's Mount Fuji, I think. Oh, is it? Wow. Yes. So what year do you think this is from? This was very popular in the mid-19th century in Japan, so probably 1840, 1850. This one, because it's so small, was actually made for ornamental use. It's called Natsuki. So traditional Japanese wardrobes have a kimono and a sash. They don't have pockets. So you see these two holes mm -hmm. there and then on the stock back here? Yeah. So they would hang chain through it, and they used to hang pouches through their belt. And in essence, this was like a stopper at the top of the belt to keep the chain from pulling through and keep mm. your pouch there. However, some of these were made as functional firearms. One of the biggest telltales is if it has a vented barrel. That means, does the barrel bore go all the way back to a chamber, and does this pan have a touch hole that goes inside? That would mean you could light it from here to there. So there's a way to tell. This is a little fishing lure. And if we can see the light inside the pan, then we know. Yeah, yeah see it? it is. See the red come through? So, and I think it's the real thing. I think it's a firearm. So what do you think it's worth, man? I, I think it could be worth a couple thousand. If you could get it to fire, maybe even a little bit more. All right, well, thanks, man. All right, so it could be 350 bucks, 50 bucks more than you're asking. I need to do better than that. Can't blame the guy for trying. Uh, let me give you 1,500 bucks for it. Well, that's quite a bit more than I came in here thinking I yes, wanted. Yes, it is. So let's do it. Deal? Cool. Uh, come with me, grab that, and we'll do some paperwork. Earlier, I bought a miniature Japanese matchlock pistol for $1,500. Alex Kramer looked at it, inspected it, and he's pretty certain it will fire. So I'm bringing my dad out to the range for a little surprise. You got to check this out. So where's it at? <laughs> I mean, it's cute, right? It's incredibly cute. <laughs> How much did you pay for it? I paid 1500 bucks. OK, but like, when was that made? I dated to about mid-19th century. Do we think it can fire? I do think it can fire, even though it's not really intended to be a firearm. I'm confident I can fire it. And in the Japanese tradition, I got some Japanese lanterns. Then hopefully I'll hit one. You won't be able to hit anything with that. I don't know. You know, I can maybe hit it. OK, so let's fire it and see if it blows to pieces. OK. All right, let's go out. OK. You guys got ear protection? Okay. Yep, got it. All right, there we go. Three, two, one. Yeah! <laughs> it, works. it works. I'm impressed. Thank you. Yeah, I hit the middle one. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't hear it go off with the ear protection in, man. It was so small. <laughs> Hey, it's a firearm, and it worked. I'm impressed. Thank you. Uh, it, it's cute. I it mean, is. what is something like that worth? I would say about 2,500. OK, so we did all right by it. Yeah, there's definitely room. You might even get more than that. OK, and we can say that we went out and shot the world's most ridiculous gun. Exactly. The smallest <laughs> matchlock ever fired, maybe. <laughs> all right, cool. You did good, son. I you know go. I did good. All right. All right, this was fun. Yeah. Uh, thanks for setting us all out. Anybody else feel like sushi? I'll go eat sushi. Uh, I'll eat sushi, yeah. This is cute. I should keep this. You could, like, wear it as a necklace. <laughs>